So, um, I've got some more features to work on and I'm starting to work on these uh, doors and window modules. So the idea is that you have um, a couple of single objects which you can then tile and snap. So for example, uh, I can instance that over there and then come back and then I can snap that into place and then I can keep going. So this guy can if I drag it up there, I can instance that up there and repeat it. And pretty soon you've got like these big buildings all made out of um, these um, simple repeatable modules. Uh, so at the moment I've got these uh, window primitives which are in Max which are really useful uh, for blocking stuff out. Um, but it would be good to look at some of the kind of surrounding features of the window. So, um, and I'm going to introduce now the, the suite tool, which is um, really useful this, for this kind of thing. So I've got some reference, of course, uh, which is th this guy. Uh, I sort of, again, very much Art Deco themed. Um, and I may not get onto the sort of doing the window panels, but just let's look at um, sort of these ornamental surrounds. Uh, so let's just drag that over there, copy it, and let's go back to standard shaders, right, left view, right, uh, so the sweet tool, let's make a rectangle first. So now I can add a modifier which is called sweep. And let's orientate the whole thing. So um, using sweep profile gives you various built in sections. So you have bars, uh, channels, um, and then we have some interesting kind of half round shapes. And you can always um, supply your own parameters, which is quite interesting as well. So, uh, for example, if I'm to make a line now, and then I can go into that, and I can use a custom section and pick it. And we get that, which is super useful. So now I can do some shaping to kind of make my um, ornamental surround for my window. So because I've got this object created as an instance, as I edit it now, it will update. Oops. Uh, make sure I'm centered the object. Gives me that. Keep make sure I've got my center pivot selected. So maybe do this properly now. So um, a few minutes left. Let's just refine this shape a bit. So and the thing is, once I've got these sweep profiles designed, I can reuse them all over the um, the building, and it kind of creates this. Um, uniform design which really helps with kind of um, make it feel believable you have these repeated sort of design patterns all through the building so that kind of thing is somewhat art deco let's maybe add one more little bit of detail so another couple of refinements there and there and just drag that out Yeah, okay, that will do. 
uh, just want to make my edges not completely uh, that's good so um, maybe I can I can make an adjustment to this so uh, let's maybe drag all that up great copy and I'm just going to make sure that I got this one selected as an instance. So I just want to make sure everything's smooth. I can't just apply a turbo smooth because there's no, um, there's not enough subdivisions and it will mess up the corners and get something round like that, which might be useful for something, but uh, that's not what I want. Um, and incidentally, because I'm using a rectangle as well, I also get this bonus as well, which is kind of fun. So I can have round corners on my door, and it's all very controllable. Um, but what I want to do is just make this round. So let's do this, and we'll make that a Bezier corner. And I think we'll make that a Bezier. If you find that you can't go up and down, it's because um, angle snaps are on. So just just tweak that, and then you'll find that. Um, sorry, not angle snaps. The axis constraint versus these guys. So if you once I've done that, it turns on that button, which is an axis constraint, and now I can't go up and down. So I need to just jiggle that a bit, and then now I can go up and down as well. So now we've got a very different, sort of more picture frame-esque um, window frame, or window surround rather. So we can, if we just zoom this over here now, you'll get the idea of the effect. Uh, and you can see there's um, some smoothing discrepancies, and I think I can just turn off smooth path. There you go. So now we've got um, nice sharp corners. Cool. So that's how to make um, these ornamental window surrounds. You can obviously just, uh, if I just drag this over here, you can see that can equally be applied to door. So I can add an edit poly, an edit spline rather to that. Delete that. And now my sweet profile looks like that. And that's sort of the right idea. Cool. Uh, I might do some more detailing uh, in a bit, so stay tuned for another video.